All right, let's move over to uh, another running back here. ADP 166, we got Rex Burkhead. Mm. What do you guys think of him? He was a integral part of the Patriots plan in parts of the season. What do you guys got? Parts of the season. Yeah, I mean, there were stretches when if he was healthy, you were starting him. And there were stretches where he wasn't healthy. And there's going to be some running backs shuffling here in, in Patriot land. He's actually a free agent. He's not signed with them yet, but I, I think it makes sense that they could bring him back. Deion Lewis is probably going to be way too expensive. Gillisley's out of there. Deion, uh, James White's still on still contract, on, yeah. has, has, some, has some nice uh, guarantees and stuff. So he's definitely going to be there. Rex... If he comes back to the Patriots, I'm I'm all in, and I'm probably in at 166 regardless. He seems to just fit into the mold. He's he's a he's a a queen on the chessboard. You can kind of do whatever you need him to do, um, and I, I think that's that's <laughs> great for the Patriots. And I think uh, you know that's that, that's valuable to them. And they I don't think they're gonna have to pay him a ton of money to keep him around. Well, I doubted the effect, the effectiveness of Danny Woodhead when he left the Patriots and he went over there and had an absolutely tear with the chargers for a little while. So I, I, I would say that the, the, like you said, the chess board with the way the Patriots use their running backs, I think that Rex Burkhead fit right in there perfectly. He was nicked up to start the season and the first four games for cup, first couple games of the season with Gillisley in there and James White and Deion Lewis, they didn't know what in the world would they were doing with those running backs. They were all over the place. Uh, actually, dropped a couple, get dropped two out of the first four games for the Patriots, which is unheard of. And uh, they just were. It was just you couldn't plug in any of them after the, you know, the first three touchdowns of the year in one game with Gillisley. But I think the you know weeks twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, or something like that for Burkhead, it was touched run it. He was running the ball into the end zone. He was catching the ball, taking it in the end zone, and he was absolutely just a great RB two to just plug into your lineup. And if he comes like like Jay Wayne said, if he comes back to the Patriots, you know what you can expect from him, from them. You, the, that's how they want to use him. But I think that last year they got a little bit greedy, picking up cheap backs, and they had their different roles with what they thought Gillisley was going to do. And he ended up being a healthy scratch the second half of the year, all the way through. If Which I, well, real quick, I, I'm gonna need that. a little less cloudy. I did. I, you, I was looking at contracts and stuff, and Gillisley has, gets like thirty one thousand dollars a game that he's active for. Yeah, that how crazy. So them boys were just like, nah, we're not gonna give him that thirty thousand for this game. Yeah. Nah, we're not gonna give him that thirty thousand for so this. So mean. Game. But so if, if mean. Rex comes back to the Patriots, I'm all in on on the one sixty six here. I think he he's a nice nice piece for you. And like you said, if he doesn't. I'm I'm kind of fifty fifty. He made an appearance on Cheap Money last year, I believe. Sure. And I th I think he is a good player. He if if he's healthy, I think he can help pretty much any franchise. I think he called him a battering ram on Cheap Money last yeah. year. Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> Gotta let Rex ride. <laughs> Gotta let Rex ride. Let the you see what happens when you let him ride. Right. Great, great name. Got to take him in the first round of a name draft. Yeah. for sure. He has great success. 